how you can utilize the blend tools of Illustrator to create some different objects that can strengthen your vector artwork. So first we're going to try making a fence, a picket fence. I'm going to start with a white line, or a black line actually, and I'm just going to start creating. Then I'm going to come in to my stroke panel, however, whatever weight you would like on your post. I'm also going to come in because I want it to have a little point at the top, so I'm going to pick one of these, and then I'm going to manipulate the scale to get it to fit just at the top. It's too small. That's pretty close. So now I've got this picket fence. Next I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste in place, which is Command Shift V. And then I'm going to tab it over hitting Shift and my right arrow. I'm then going to come in, I'm going to shorten this one because I want my picket fence not to be a straight line, I want it to kind of go up and down. Like so. Next I am going to duplicate this a few times. Copy and paste. They're not evenly spaced, so I'm going to use my align window to space these properly. I'm going to come over here to align. If it's not open, go up to window, look for align. I am going to vertically align the bottoms. Then I'm going to hover over till I get to horizontal horizontally distribute the centers. And that's what I want, and that's going to kind of evenly space it from left to right. So notice they've all kicked into place, which I really like. Next, I'm going to come up to Object Blend. I'm going to look at my blend options. I want a specified steps. I can go to Smooth Color, but that would defeat the purpose of having these pickets. Um, and Specified Distance is also there. So Specified Steps, and I also want the orientation to align with the page. And I think I'm going to be able to fit about four in between these, so I'm going to test it. Hit OK, and then go Make. See how it looks. And actually, that's turned out pretty well. Now I've got a picket fence. It's perfectly distributed. At any point, I can grab this fence if I need to be able to do specific things to it, I can go up to Object, Blend, I can Expand. Now I've got every single fence post. I can also go in here to Object, Path, and Outline Stroke, so now they're a shape. Um, and that can come really in handy when you're trying to create architectural pieces or just pieces that have been possibly used with a machine to create to give that kind of perfect look. So I hope this helps a little bit.